Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Um, it's always exciting to be with us. The Eco Farms and Agro Services Company have a program where we work with other farmers to build capacity in them. Um, together, we can do everything alone. But uh, alone, sorry, we can't do every, any, everything alone. But together, we can work with other farmers to strengthen our own our ends of things. Um, one of the partner farmers we've worked with over the years is Prime Harvest. Um, we've worked with them to train their staffs. We've worked with them to provide capacity building in farm and in, in theoretical approach to them. And today we're going to visit them to see how far they've been faring since we let them go to their farms uh, to manage the farms themselves. Um, we encourage you to pay us a visit if you haven't uh, to discuss uh, possible ways we can partner uh, so that we can build the capacity of your either existing project or projects you're looking to work in on. And the other things is um, we have a detailed um, resource center on our website and also in our office in Just Plateau where we work with um, smallholder farmers, large scale farmers, uh, essentially to build their capacity on pre and post harvest management across fields of um, agriculture. So if this is something you're thinking about, we also take this opportunity to uh, encourage you to do so. So come with us, let's go see what Prime Investment is doing. Hello everyone, I'm by name John Demedaje, the Greenhouse Assistant at Prime Harvest. Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Ademi, I'm the manager at Prime Harvest. Hello everyone, I'm Gospel Silas, a Greenhouse Assistant at Prime Harvest. Hello everyone, I'm Christy Jacob, Farm Assistant at Prime Harvest. Hi everyone, my name is Benjamin uh, from the Echo Farms and Agro Services Company. It's exciting uh, to be with us again. Uh, today we are at Prime, Prime Investment. Yes. Um, it's an amazing farm. We've worked with them for over a year uh, to build capacity for their staffs on how to manage a uh, protected farm environment, on how to manage setup from setup to post, uh, pre and post harvest management. And today we visited the farm. They are doing amazing. Uh, they have bell peppers in their two kits and the peppers are doing really fine. Uh, we just want to talk with the workers as well as the organization and the farm manager. Um, hi, Steven, it's good to be with you. Thank you so much. Uh, how have things been since, since you left the Echo Farms after your training? Since we um, left the Echo Farms after our training, it was more of, um, the responsibilities were now saddled on us um, particularly and then we started taking um, actions on our own because we didn't have like all the time to call you over we even noticed that you yourself you're a busy man and everything but that's that taking responsibilities calling ourselves you know to other the, trying the things you learned yes you trying to share to, to um, execute our them in the knowledge, field yes and executing them in the field and um well, it has been smooth ever since. Let's let's go back a bit. Okay. I mean, before the farm set up, what, how, how, how was your feeling about managing a greenhouse? I mean, were you excited? Were you scared? Were there moments you were worried this is not something you'd be able to do? Okay, well, um, it surprised you to know that I wanted this challenge because <clears throat> I have seen that I've um, tried maybe small, small, petty businesses and then there was something that was lacking. I noticed about myself is the ability to manage people. Um, in fact, I would just call it project management. So this, this farm has given you an yes. opportunity. So to, yeah, to it was more like team. a demonstration for me. I was learning on the experience. Okay. Yes, sir. What What will you see was the takeaway from the time you spent at the Echo Farms learning about managing the farm? Okay, so um, unlike I would say, unlike the others, um, for me, I was both learning and observing. So learning the aspect that following up with the classes and then observing you particularly as um, the you manager, this? the manager, yes, and um, Mr. Moses, because okay. I, I knew that I would have to take up both roles. Responsibilities. Responsibilities okay. Okay. So let's speak on the theory. Uh, when you sit in class and, and see what we're talking about, writing on the board, what, what were the key things that stood out for you uh, in terms of managing the greenhouse? Okay, so in, in terms, terms of, of pest management, the right inputs to use, when to use them, uh, crop host boundary. So in terms of uh, managing the greenhouse, I um, 
Well, what stood out for me, one of the things that stood out for me firstly was the place of hygiene and then the fact that we are supposed to treat these plants as living things. We're not supposed to treat them as something, as just like a business transaction, but that they fill us and we fill them together. So the plants feeling you now, you're feeling them. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I'm not in the right mood, I, I can't enter the greenhouse. Oh, great. Yeah. So, and great. then, and on the place of um, pest and um, insect, um, sorry, pest infestation, um, we, you know, we learned on the, on the field to not to keep using the same, um, um, you know, pesticide through and over through. Over and over. To, um, so that you you manage um, plant plants, insect pests, not 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 adapting. Yes, or yes, not adapting to, our building resistance to the that's great. That's great. Pesticide. That's good. So um, I was asking, what 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 are the pests you are currently experiencing in your farm? Okay, so um, how do you manage them? From um, it has been three months now. And then we've experienced, um, for the first month, we experienced just a little of um, trips. Yes, then um, going to the second month, started seeing more of if it's fat. If it's were like the main pest we managed on this farm, because at some point there was um, small like carelessness or record is overlooking, because we are supposed to be scouting every day, you know, coming around looking at the plants to see. To, to look out for this pest, but for a while we relaxed on that, and then they you increased. To multiply. Yeah, we multiplied to, to an extent. So um, we dealt with it. Um, I can remember that was when we we had you over, and then you helped us know that it would be bad if we let this thing continue. Yeah, you know, greenhouses, the temperatures are always warm and humid in there, so any pest that gets in, they yes. multiply very fast. Very so fast. Your, your response it's the time of response how quick you respond yeah. so when you scout and, and you see this place it's important that you, you swing it to action yes yes so so I, I know you're a busy man you have to go back to your farm <laughs> um what's 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 what are you looking forward to now that you're almost ready to harvest um, your first harvest what's what's that feeling inside you feel right now i, I, I haven't just, gone through all these lengthy months of stress honestly um what excited me most you know is what's exciting me most right now is the fact that um, we pass through a process and this process really no matter how somebody tries to teach it in class cannot be not nothing beats doing it not, yourself yes nothing beats doing it yourself so now we are seeing the results we are always remembering the process so the result is just that um it was a process to prove and, and, and your process. team learned yes your team learned you, yes. you have a strong team do you struggle to manage your team or everyone knows what they do and, and they do it at the right time well, as for the team, um, I am grateful for every one of them because, you know, there's something I learned from my boss, how to inspire people. You know, this how you sell the vision mm. to these people, despite the fact that maybe um, you might not be too comfortable with the salaries or anything, mm. but to inspire them to see beyond what we are doing now, how we are going to scale up um, in months and years to come. And then it has been working out. I, I like the word scale. Yeah. So that's the beauty of starting small. Mm. Based on what you've done and how where you are now, you're thinking about the future. Yes, and and that's that's where the beauty is. Yes, and we're excited to see Thank what you're doing there. Please keep it up. Um, we will continue to come visiting as much as we can work with you to strengthen your capacity. We are the Eco Farms is here to do that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. It's good All to right. talk.